Hey everybody, so now that iOS 7 has been released for a few days here, I figured I would do a side-by-side -side visual comparison of iOS 7 and iOS 6. I know a lot of people have been asking me about this because the design has actually been somewhat controversial. Some people love iOS 7 and other people do not like iOS 7 and want the design of iOS 6 back. So I found these two great articles from Redmond Pie that actually compare the icons and the whole operating system side-by-side -side, uh, with iOS 7 and iOS 6. And I figured I'd just run through some of the feature differences so you guys can really get the differences between the designs and make a full decision for yourself. I actually haven't been able to make a final decision on the operating system yet. I do like it a lot, but it isn't the final release, so I'll have to wait until then to make my final decision. But anyways, let's get to it. These links will be in the description, and you'll be able to see the exact visual comparison between the iOS 7 and iOS 6 here using these articles. So right off the bat, you can see the icons for them look quite different. Uh, scroll down, the home screen looks totally different. As you can see, you can really see the flat design here. The dock is completely gone in the iOS 7 version, and it's completely flat. Um, all of the icons are flatter. It looks more colorful, and they pop out more at you. Uh, this one is more mirror-like, I would say, because you have the reflection, etc. But as you can see, the home screen looks really different. The signal bars are gone, for those of you that didn't notice. The text is a little smaller here at the top. And overall, the uh, iOS 7 version just looks simpler and cleaner to me. Next, scrolling down, as you can see, notifications look different. The pop-up in the iOS 6 version seems to pop more than the iOS 7 version. iOS 7 is more colorful. The whole uh, typing is generally the same, except in iOS 6 it is circles, and in iOS 7 it is more of... Uh, or iOS 7 is circles, and in iOS 6 it is squares. They got rid of the contact and the delete version, but you can actually delete as you type in, I've noticed. And it is different coloring, it's flatter, and the call button takes up the whole bottom of the screen. As you can see here, folders take up the whole screen now in iOS 7, which I actually like better. Um, they work better, they're quicker, and you can actually add more apps in a folder than before. Rather than just 12, you can have more than 12, which works great. Um, and this, these folders in iOS 7 are slightly better than iOS 6, I think, but that's the different visuals, as you can see. Here it actually moved the screen, and in iOS 7 it simply pops up on the screen. Here's a simple view of maps. As you can see, it's totally flat here in iOS 7, and in iOS 6 it actually has more pop-ups, which is interesting to see. Um, scrolling down here, the compass looks generally the same. Uh, they got rid of all of the designs in iOS 7. It's just flat and simple, straight to the point. Notes is generally the same thing, but they got rid of all the designs, simple and straight to the point. Calculator is simple and straight to the point, as you can see, generally the same thing, generally the same coloring. Calendar has been greatly updated, and they have made it bigger and take up the whole screen, and you can add more events now, have a better event view, um, and it's totally flat, as you can see here, the coloring is different. What I've noticed between all of these apps is they do look generally the same. They're just simpler, they've got rid of a lot of the design, and it is just like flat, which is a lot different. Um, here the share view is greatly different. Instead of having all these nine um, share buttons right there, you can actually have more share options here, and you can share it directly over AirDrop, which is interesting, and I like that. The Twitter and pop-ups for sharing for that look generally the same. It's more of a square shape and flatter in iOS 7, as I, can, as I said. And the keyboard, as you can see, looks different here than in iOS 6. The pop-up notifications when you get a text or a push notification look different. On the iOS 7, it simply goes directly to the top of the screen where you can slide to unlock. And in iOS 6, it went directly to the middle of the screen. Emails look the same except flatter, reply, forward, save images, etc. App Store just looks flatter but looks generally the same. And Notification Center is actually transparent now, which was a jailbreak tweak, um, but it is looking a lot cooler. It generally does the same thing, though. Here's multitasking, which is greatly updated, probably the biggest visual difference, because in iOS 6, you can only see it on the bottom here, while in iOS 7, you could actually see the multitasking full Palm Pre style, where you can swipe up to get rid of the app, which is great. Uh, music looks generally the same, takes up more of the screen in iOS 7. Camera looks generally the same, although you can swipe to see different cameras here. Siri looks different a lot, because it'll show you when you are talking by moving this bar along the bottom, and it takes up the whole screen. Texting looks generally the same. And now, finally, app icons look greatly different. As you can see, it's, they're totally flatter. The colors are different. And it almost seems like they're making iOS 7 into more of a cartoony-like operating system. So 
Um, that is the differences visually between iOS 6 and iOS 7. For me, I actually like iOS 7 better. I think it's simpler, and I just always enjoy the updates from Apple. But for you guys, you can make your own decision. I'm not going to make a final decision until the fall when the final release is released. But go ahead and leave a comment with your description. Go ahead and rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. And favorite the video if you liked it. Or be sure to leave your comments with stuff that Apple could improve. Hopefully you liked this video, and hopefully you did. If you did, as I said, rate, thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe for more content. And also, if you want to stay in touch with me, be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Facebook page, my Google Plus page and my other partner channel in the description. Great ways to stay in touch with me, guys. I'll be updating you guys more on this in the future on iOS 7 and Apple in general, so stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next video, and all these links will be in the description. Peace.